What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destroy and welcome back to my summer card is episode number 12 and in today's video I want to get that beautiful Satsuma you see, I want to get that running, I want to turn her over today. Now if you watched the last episode, at the end of that episode I tried to uh, turn her over, start her, and uh, she sounded very sluggish, I had my suspicions on what it could have been and uh, my, sus my suspicions uh, was true. Is that the way you say that? <laughs> I actually thought it was the starter motor. Um, I jumped into the editor and checked the values for all the breakable parts, because there are some breakable parts to this engine, if you do not know. Uh, say like the pistons, the alternator, the head gasket, the rocket cover, the rocket shuffle, all those sort of things can... Uh, like the, when you first start a new game or a new build, uh, those wear values are normally pretty low, so they're basically useless. Anyway, the point is, the starter motor was at under it was like less than 10 so it was basically useless it was dead um now you can take those parts off the engine dismantle them uh but you have to take them one by one to fleetari for him to give you a new one and the values can range it varies so you could pay for a brand new one and you might only get a score of like i don't know 50 60 70 not 100 which you should you know that's what you kind of expect if you were uh <laughs> buying a brand new engine part, but uh, the point is, I reckon it's the, the starter, well, well, I think it was, and the head gasket was also like, I think its value was like 17, uh, but what, and another thing I forgot <laughs> as well, is the radiator hoses, because if you have a look here, right, oh, I'm, undo this cap, because you saw me, if you watched that video, the last episode, you saw me fill this uh, radiator with coolant, now look at that, there's, there's less than quarter in there, right? I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> I totally, I totally, ga I totally gapped on it. See that there? That's called a screw. <laughs> and I completely forgot that uh, there's five screws on the radiator hoses now. So just grab the uh, screwdriver, lean into the engine, and do them up. That's why uh, all the coolant, coolant was leaking. So there's two screws on hose one here, one on each end. Now hose two, there's only one screw where it meets the uh, water pump right there. And hose three is the same as hose one. Two screws, one at each end. I mean, they're very easy to find. Ugh. As I really have trouble finding it. So we'll screw that in there. I'm pretty sure that was the right one. Yeah, of course it was. It's the only bloody screw on there. And then down here, uh, there we go. <laughs> so uh, that might catch you out if you're building the engine um, and you don't know about that. Because uh, I think it's in the guide. And as you know, if you've did watch, if you been watching the series so far, the playthrough, uh, I built this engine and its components without a guide, basically. So, right. So now we'll take the cover off again. Should have left it off, shouldn't I? And we'll fill it. And now we should not have any leaks, because uh, we've screwed down the hoses. So we shall fill that. Another thing I want to do in this episode is... Because originally I, w I was going to take the car to Fleetari's and have him align the wheels. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to save a bit of money. Because if you have a look there, we've got less than a thousand mark. Which is ridiculous, but um, I've decided to do it myself. I've already done the passenger side wheel. Uh, because it can take a little while. I mean, it doesn't take too long. It's a very simple process, but uh, I thought I'll do one anyway. Come on. Fill up, dude. Fill up. Right, there we go. So we've got a full radiator. Okay, everything else is good, I think. Uh, I know I have to tune the valve. The valves on the, uh, whatchamacallit? Rocker, sh uh, yeah, the rocker shaft. And as you can see there, I've obviously re-sprayed the car. Try and get it as close as Australian colours as I can. You know, the green and gold. So, uh, so yeah, I've sprayed the uh, rocket cover and the engine block there. Looks pretty cool, in my opinion. Right, so that's done. Now, with the uh, wheel alignment, obviously you can't do it with the, uh, the... What do you call it? What do you call it? Oh, my mind's got a, got a blank. Um, anyway, you need to get size 14, because you can only do it with a spanner. You can't do it with the ratchet set. There we go. So if you see here, this wheel, this is the wheel I did off camera. 
He's dead straight. Now, this bolt here, this nut, will, um, I don't want to move it because this is already aligned, but this will turn indefinitely, like, it will constantly turn, <laughs> right? Now, this one, because I'll show you on this one, see? There's no movement here because the wheel is, if you have a look from the front, is way off to the left there. So, you can... You know, scroll the wheel, mouse wheel that way forever, and it won't do anything. Now, it's 120 clicks, okay? So, you can either go one end, either facing left or right, and then you go 60 the other way. So, one, two, see the wheel moving? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, so that's 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Right, so that should be straight. That actually looks slightly off because I mean you can eyeball it anyway doesn't really matter I might go couple that way yeah it looks slightly off still I mean it is going to be straight enough though which is good Oop, wrong way one two four how's that of course when I do it off camera it's perfect when I'm showing it it's going to stuff up I must have miscounted or something that's weird Hang on, where am I? Three, four? How are we? Yep, there we go, bang on. So they're straight now, so you car, the car will go straight, which is a good thing, that's what you want. Um, now, so coolant is done. I just want to quickly check the oil. Did I buy uh, the dipstick? Okay. So... We'll top her up. Why not? It's always a good thing to uh, have all your fluids topped up, of course. And then... She should start. Fingers crossed. Um, I've also gone ahead and... Uh, done the, the air-fuel mixture on the carby. So she's done. Um, I think for the moment it's set to 14.2, I think. For just like cruising around and stuff like that, like not competing in a rally or anything like that, your optimal is uh, 14.7, I think. So, But here we go. You ready? <laughs> Moment of truth. We'll lean over. A little bit of choke just uh, while we start her. Okay, battery's good. Needs a bit of a charge, but as long as she starts, that's the main thing. That's what we're looking at here. Come on. Baby, baby, baby. We have a working car. Okay, that's all over to join in the bone because obviously we just started the car, plus we do have the choke out. I am going to let that in a bit. And I'm going to keep my eye on the uh, the gauge over there, the readout. What's that say? 12.4. In a bit more, 15, but we should... Oh, there we go. It does jump around quite a lot, which is a little weird, but... Keep keep an eye on the temperature gauge there. I also filled her up. I had about half a tank, but I decided to fill her up. Oh, and also, I don't know... Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but when I was putting this uh, in the dash here, the only thing that was available was the clock. Back in the day, you had a choice between a clock or the RPM gauge. <laughs> And uh, the RPM gauge is actually classed as a GT part now. And uh, it is no longer, obviously doesn't, uh, what do you call it, spawn in a garage anymore. You have to go find it. I know where it is. Uh, so in another episode, I will grab that. For now, I'm just going to keep the clock. It really doesn't matter. All right. So we'll uh, put the choke right in now. So I'm just going to let it warm up a bit more. So when I'm not revving it 
it does jump back to about 14.5 or so. I mean, it's in the green, so it's good enough. And what I might do, actually, is grab the screwdriver. Find the bloody screw. There it is. Okay, so went up twice. Let's have a look. 15.9. Uh, the best way to get a like a proper reading is when you're in third or fourth gear. So, okay, I went down four times then. That should go the other way. Kind of. <laughs> this is be a bit of a pain in the ass, but I mean it is necessary, obviously. I think that to be better. Yeah, 13.9. Like, look at the way that's jumping around, though. That can be a little bit annoying. I might go down a couple more times. Car should be warm by now. Come on, get in the car, dude. 14.4. There we go. That's not bad. For what I want at the moment, that'll, be, that'll do just fine. Now, what I might do is take her for a quick little spin. Oh, I've also got the hubcaps here. <laughs> I had stuff laid out that I was going to put on the car. So we'll quickly chuck these on. Oh yeah, I've also got the marker lights. I'll quickly chuck them on too before we go. Let the car fully warm up. There we go. Just keeping an eye on my hunger as well. Might have a quick snack in a minute. Actually, we'll do that right now. Quick snack, a drink. Um, okay, we got some pizza. Oh, that didn't fill me, but that'll be alright for now. Have some water. Alright. Okay. Now, from memory, these are a six. Now, you should be going... There you are. You've already got the wire there, so that will work. There we go. Okay. Grab the six mil. Now, I think there's only one bolt per marker light. Just can't remember where it is. There it is. <laughs> From the top. I mean, these aren't important or anything. I just thought I'd uh, show it on camera when I installed them. There we go. On. Okay, let's jump in. Okay, that ratio seems to be okay for now. Shut the door. I've noticed as well, uh, the FPS has dropped quite quite a bit the last couple of times I've been playing, especially off camera. It's been a little weird, but uh, release the handbrake. Dump her into reverse. She's moving. She is moving. So all in all, successful build. Okay. Maybe she's a bit sluggish at the start, but here we go. The Satsuma is moving. Lovely. Um, I might have to tweak the wheel alignment. Seem to be pulling to the right a bit then. <laughs> oh, got no power. What's going on? It's probably just grass. I probably shouldn't have... Driven it around here. Come on. Get through. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Maybe the distributor needs a bit of tweaking. It's like it's not sharing power properly that's what the uh, distributor does by the way if you didn't know so I put in third and it's just it's almost like she's dead I have a feeling that's what it is anyway I just want to get her back up onto the into the garage on the four quarters some people call it there we go right but at least she started I will look into that all right might be the battery too, because that was a little water pressure. Hmm. Not sure. Might be another off-camera job that one, because I can try and troubleshoot stuff. Um, 
on camera, but that sort of stuff can take a while sometimes, so... And instead of doing a bunch of editing, I'd rather just do that stuff off camera and then record the good stuff. And I realised I brought the radio out and I didn't even uh, turn her on. Jeez, man. Alright, now, there was something else I wanted to do today, which was sell Kill You. Now, this has been brewed for quite a while now, about two weeks of in-game time. Um, so what I'm going to do is, it is Saturday, so the rally is on. Actually, what time is it? Okay, so we are going to probably run into, into some rally cars, but oh well, that's life, isn't it? Um, right, so we'll bottle it now. There we go. Lovely job, Lou. Okay. Do that. And because I've got the backpack mod, <laughs> I can just grab them. It's just easier and quicker. Make sure it says kill you too. Don't sell any uh, shit to him. But the most you can make per bottle is 170 mark. Which, uh, with 20, is 3400 mark, which is just fine. Because we need money desperately. I've also got an order at, uh, I posted off an order. Uh, what did I get? I got the uh, fiberglass hood. Um, and some other stuff, I can't remember. It's funny, because when I do things off camera, like, I'll do them. And completely forget that I did them. You know, in a video when I'm, when I'm recording. So, uh, now we've only got 18 of these. But that's alright. And, what else? And I think that might be it for today. Just until I figure out what the problem with the car is. Like I said, I can do it on camera, but I might, you know, it might take me a little while and stuff like that. So there we go. There should be a little bit left, but what I'm going to do is actually tip that out because uh, you can't make a new brew if there's a little bit left in there. You have to tip it out anyway. And if you do, or maybe you can, I'm not sure, but uh, it won't be the best and uh, kill, you, kill you guy will not give you 170 per bottle. So, he reckons it's shit. Because sometimes he's complained in the past, it's like, Oh, I can taste yeast in this, and... You know, because you can kind of screw him over too if you want. I don't recommend it, but... <laughs> uh, for a bit of fun, you can. Like, you can fill one bottle with kill you. And then, um... All the rest, water. <laughs> so, but then you'll, uh... Dude, get in the van, bro. Right. So, control Y, explode the bottles everywhere, fantastic. Alright, so I'm going to turn the radio off, I'm going to shut the door. Actually, I might have another pizza, that should fill me. There we go. Have another quick sip of water. Mmm, water. Is that off? Yeah. Uh, phone, I might quickly plug that in actually. You watch all ring just so I get in the van. Okay, let her warm up. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of the car. Um, if you, Actually, if you uh, have any tips or any idea on why that's losing power, I reckon it might be the distributor. That's a guess. But, uh, geez, I'm still losing some frames here and there. That's crazy. Okay, phone's not going to ring. Oh, get in, bro. Okay, start her up. Safety first. Especially with the rally going on. Uh, I might keep the radio off for now, actually. Just because. I mean, you can hear the rally cars coming up behind you or... You know, straight for you. Because <laughs> they are pretty loud in the game. Oh god, this van's a little, a little unstable today as well, but... Wow, come on, bro. But yeah, so, we'll get about... Oh, just under three grand. For those 18 bottles. Which will be just fine. Don't you dare, man. Don't you freaking dare. <laughs> I probably should have saved it before I uh, went and did this. For things like that. But, um... Off camera as well, I uh, ended up ditching the van again, I lost control of it again, I didn't die, 
that second time, but, uh, yeah, I thought I'd be honest with the playthrough, like, anything I do, like, say if I do die off camera again or whatever, I will be telling you, just because I am an honest gamer, and all that sort of stuff, so, um, yeah, I lost basically in the same place I did last time, which was around the back of Grandma's, because I visited Grandma again, uh, I didn't show that, only because, you know, it can take a while. Grandma talks to you for ages, and uh, plus you just saw it in the, in the previous video, so I, I assume you, you guys don't want to sit there and watch that again. So, I uh, gave her two fish, grilled pike, and she only gave me 200 mark for it. I swear, like, I swear she used to pay more. It used to be like 250 per fish, man. But, times change, eh? Come on, I geared. Shift it down, man. Turn! Um. Oh, yeah. I was just about to say, get out of his way because. Yep. <laughs> Double check, I've got the seatbelt on just in case. Head on collision with those guys, you're gonna die most of the time. I like to keep it on in second gear around here just because it's so unstable. Especially this, this corner here, this bend here. I always seem to have trouble. There we go. That was actually pretty good, Pete. Half the time I uh, slide to the left or right. So at least we'll have some more money now. Or soon. Uh, Got to pay for that order, which is around about 2800 I think. Um, I've still got a couple of poop jobs to do. So there's, a you know, at least 2400 there. Oh my god, brake. Brake and turn. I swear, this van is so weird to drive. Try and keep away from the spectators because, yeah, if they die, I'll probably get done for murder, which is just ridiculous. And what else? I think there was more stuff I wanted to uh, update you with. I can't quite remember. Oh, about the end game. So I totally gapped on it as well uh, with the whole girlfriend thing. Now, if you don't know, maybe some spoilers. I'm not sure, but. Like, you do your car up, yeah? Like, you upgrade it for the rally and just for the looks and all that sort of stuff. But, I forgot that when you actually, you know, go for the end game, you, uh, you have to, well, you do a couple of things to the car. So, you basically have to bring it back to stock. You have to get, like, leopard print, um, hey, there's cool you got. Leopard print for the dash and the seat covers and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, uh, yep, wrong way. There we go. Good work, Troy. All right, get out. And things like that, because I totally forgot all about it, but, um... Oh, yeah, that's right. Is that your wife, mate? You better put her on a leash, man. Shut her up. I can't remember when uh, Topper's Gun added this audio, but... If anyone speaks Finnish, let me know what she's saying in the comments. I appreciate that. Also, another thing, because I'm curious about demographics and whereabouts in the world you're watching from and stuff like that. So let me know where you are, uh, where you're from. I'm always curious about that. There goes green car. Hey, buddy. Here we go, mate. 2022 playthrough. First lot to kill you. Tell me what you think. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how good it is, bro. Oh, yeah. What do you reckon? Oh yeah, I pay good for this. Yes, you will. All right. Okay, grab these. Now it can be a little glitchy and buggy when you're using a backpack. So, dude, get down. You you won't crouch anymore. Hang on, let me get out of the van. Crouch down and finish headbutt. All right. So yeah, I'll obviously pick him up. Uh, you got to be careful because you can actually put the whole van in your backpack, which is ludicrous, but... Yep, keep that for now, mate. Keep that for now. So what I'm going to do is actually explode them. Actually, no, I'll do them one by one. Oh, that would have been cool if it's stacked up properly like that. <laughs> and I'll put them up individually. Just because, like I said, it can bug out and it won't pay you for the full amount. But, mate, I've only got 18 today, all right? But uh, as soon as Timo restocks the shop, which should be this for, this Thursday, I'll uh, I'll have the full twenty for you, all right? 
All right, mate. Hmm. An electric train that has a uh, a steam whistle sound. That's a little odd. Don't fall off. Thank you very much. And also, while I think of it as well, I want to say a big thank you to everyone that has uh, recently subscribed. I appreciate that. And if, you, uh, if you're not a subscriber of the channel, but you enjoy the videos, oops, take the leap and subscribe. Cost you nothing, you know. It's all free, isn't it? Joke, jokey, joke, I can't remember this dude's name or something like that. Right, so I'm going to be patient and let this calculate because sometimes it can take a minute or so. There we go. Just over 3,000. Thank you, sir. You have a lovely weekend. And uh, maybe shut up your message, yeah? A little bit annoying, we'll admit. <laughs> Alright. Just going to wind the window down. So yeah, thanks again for everyone that has, that has subscribed. I do appreciate it. Uh, just, I wanted to mention as well, though. There goes another relic, huh? Um, that my channel is not a niche channel, though. So yes, I'm obviously playing My Summer Car. But I obviously do play other games. Um, so, and the only reason I bring that up... Yeah, it's definitely off. Actually, there's a red car there now, isn't there? I think I just ran into it. Because um, I know, like, especially recently, a lot of people have subscribed because of My Summer Car. Which, don't get me wrong, I appreciate, but I'm not going to be playing My Summer Car forever. So, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, I would obviously play other games. It's not a niche channel. It's not like, you know, a Call of Duty channel or whatever where I've just played a one game and I've just ditched it. Okay. Cool. My summer physics. Fantastic. So I just wanted to put that out there that I do... My God, so the van is so unstable lately. I do play other games, so hopefully you stick around for them as well. Um, but having said that, as soon as my winter car comes out, I'm going to be all over that, so... Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I have no idea when it's going to be released or anything like that. I wish I did. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm going to be all over that. I'm hopefully going to do uh, daily uploads of that as well. Fingers crossed. I mean, time pending, obviously. I might be busy at work or, you know, social engagements and all that sort of stuff. But, uh, and if you didn't know at the moment, my current schedule, upload schedule, is three videos a week. Monday, Wednesday and Friday. That's... At the moment, that's the most I can do because I just don't have the time. Um, so, like I've mentioned previously, when I get home from work, I'm not really that energetic or anything like that. I can't be bothered really playing or recording. So, I do a lot of recording uh, on the weekends when I've got the time on the weekends as well. So, uh, obviously, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. Uh, it would be it'd be great if I was, but uh, I know a lot of people do. Like I've had comments and uh, messages and that in the past. Saying, why can't you upload like every every other day or something like that? And I tell them, well, I basically do. <laughs> I like to keep weekends free for recording, editing, and uploading. But um, you know, they're comparing me to massive YouTube channels like Jack Septiguy, who's got like what nearly 30 million subscribers. Of course, he's got the time and all that to do it because he, you know, he makes a living from that. Whereas I have to work. <laughs> you know, I don't get paid for this, so. It's impossible for me to do that at the moment. I just can't pump out that that amount of content. So, you know, a little bit of patience. If you stick with me, you know, we'll get better. Um, if there is an opportunity in the future where I can monetize my videos, well, then, of course, I'll do it. Um, so, but until then, it's going to have to be three videos a week. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys understand that. I mean, some of you might be of working age. Some of you might be younger. Then you don't work. You might go to school or something. I have no idea. But, uh, yeah. And I've noticed it has been the younger demographic that have complained about it. And it's like, well, you, wait till you grow up and realize how the world really works. You know, you have to go out and earn money, you know, to keep a roof over your head and to keep your stomach full and all that sort of stuff, you know. So, plus you've got other bills to pay. Now, there's no free lunches in this world, man. You know, you've got to work. You've got to work to survive. So, you know, like I don't really like to bring that up, but sometimes I just have to. Because, you know, I mean, some people just sort of forget. Because they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, because, you know, people are subscribed to, like, many, many channels, and some of them will be, uh, like, a Jacksepticeye or a Rad Brad or 
somewhere, you know, with they're an established channel and they do that for a living. So, but you know, my channel is obviously completely different in that sort of respect, subscribers-wise and all that sort of. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that anyway. So, in case you're watching and you're like, hmm, we want more videos. It's like I wish I could, man. I wish I could, but it's just. It's basically impossible at the moment. I mean, I could do it, but then I'll probably get fired and I'll be living on the streets and then I won't be playing any games then, will I? So, there we go. Okay. Kill your delivery successful. Right, get out, please. Thank you very much. Shut that. Leave the window, that's fine. Um, off, off camera as well, I did sell some more firewood and I uh, cut up another load. Ready to go. And the cooldown for firewood, guys, ridiculous these days. It's like about two weeks before he rings you. Two to three weeks. I think it's a bit ridiculous in my opinion. But uh, we'll have a quick sip of water again. Um, we'll have a shower. We'll have a smoke. We'll take a piss. The usual thing. Just trying to keep an eye on how long I've been playing and recording for. Just because uh, I think it was episode... Eight or nine? I can't remember. But it was actually quite short. But I was recently sick, so... I had to keep the videos a bit shorter just because I didn't really feel like it. Like, I wasn't really up to playing, so... Okay, I was hoping to do the one drag thing, but I forgot. So now we'll do it. We'll do the, we'll do the two drag cigarette inhale... In, in, what's that word? Inhaling thing. <laughs> there we go. So that should get rid of the... Uh, get rid of the stress. Fingers crossed. And also another thing I forgot that the uncle has actually got uh, extra dialogue. So like if you go visit him after he gives you the keys to the truck and stuff. Actually is he out the front? Yeah he is. Uh, there is a little bit more dialogue. I don't think it really adds to the game much. It's just a little bit of lore I guess. Hey uncle. <coughs> now that I am drunk I need to avoid those crap wells. There were no, there were no cops to lift me up. There were once, I was able to get out. Dude, did you fall down one? Maybe that explains your, your horrible cough. Buska. Boink. It's funny, he doesn't care if you drink all, all of his beers. I like it. Ping. Oops. Wrong key, buddy. <laughs> Dude, that cough sounds like it's getting worse, man. You got anything else new to say? There we go. I'm not taking... Uh, I'm not taking sidesteps in my life. Not to left or right. That wasn't me, I assure you. Okay. Whatever you say, dude. You know, you gotta take steps, though. You gotta walk. What do you do? Float back into your house? <laughs> uh, another thing I want to do, probably in the next episode, will be... Because I found where two wrecks are. One is... I oh, actually, I showed it on camera. Is in the little hut, barn hut thing. Uh, right next to the uh, the antenna. Not far from Fleetaris. And I found a little tea bucket wreck. That is uh, on the corner... Oh, no, it's in the little quarry bit. Which is down near the entrance from the highway if you're going up to the, the tip and all that. Now, if you're not sure of the area, I'll show you on the map. Alright, thanks for the beers, bro. Need to take a leak, you don't mind, eh? I'll just give you a wash here. Got some shit on the bottom of your shoe. There we go. Get rid of that for you, champ. Ah... <sighs> I love it how he just constantly talks and there's no subtitles. <laughs> no idea what he's saying. Unless the subtitles are up, of course. And then half the time... Actually, can I grab your crate? Not that I want it, I just want to see if it's... No, nah, it's there. Okay. It's locked to the table. Now, I suppose the only problem is about having six or seven beers is that you get a bit tipsy. <laughs> and the screen goes a little wonky, but, uh, yeah. So uh, hopefully none of you suffer from that sort of shit. Hopefully it doesn't make you feel sick. Um, actually, while we're here, we might as well brew another kill you as well. Why not, eh? Open that up. Oop. I'm a bit pissed. Oh dear. 
<laughs> uh, you feeling? Yes, you are. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And a yeast. Boom. Ah, running into walls. Get off it. Jeez, bro. Right, I'm just going to wait for that to fill. I might grab the rate. What time is it? Okay. Nearly 4.30. Dude, stop running into walls. I know you're a bit tipsy, but jeez, man. Uh, put it in my favorite place. The shit 2000. I'll replace the batteries in that, by the way, as well. I tell you, what did I say in the last episode? Every time. Well, a few episodes ago. Every time I put the radio on either in the car or whatever. Dude. <laughs> it's always the bloody poultry. Every single time. Come on. Totus. Okay, I think that's full. Uh, grab it on the side. Nice. Good work, man. Okay. Oh, the land, bro. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. And the yeast. Uh. Right. Yeah, get back down. Right, but at least with this, the next kill you run will be the, the full 20 mark. 20 marks, what the hell? The full 20 bottles. Um, obviously, you don't have to buy them again. You go pick them up from the tip. Um, like, if, for example, we went to the tip tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, they would be there. He drinks them that quickly. It's ridiculous. But anyway, who's this? Ah, Timo. Your post order has arrived. Pick it up from the store. I will, but I know you are open on a Saturday, aren't you? I forgot. So, yeah, I wonder what... I reckon it might be a distributor. Like I said, if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, but then again, <laughs> by the time this is uploaded on YouTube, I'll probably be up to like episode 20, but I have a feeling it could be the distributor or maybe the spark plugs alternator, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have a little look at the editor. Uh, we'll, I'll check that out anyway. Yeah. Decided to park the truck there. No real reason why. Um, you see here, I've sprayed the, the the racing muffler green, just because I can. Found the radar buster, got the GT parts here. I am going to eventually put all the GT parts here and fit her out, because it is an achievement on Steam. Uh, if you have the whole car decked out in GT gear, that includes the paint job. It's either the green or the orange paint job. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, achievement hunting as well. Okay, I'm just going to neaten these up. Get old OCD for the win, bro. Okay. Neat as possible. There. Actually, that's what I wanted to quickly do. Do is check the coolant level because I'm assuming that uh, because we screwed the hoses down, we won't have any leaks. Actually, I'm gonna leave that because there's another thing in the game you may or may not know about. Um, if you open up the radiator cap. Not long after you've started the car, or driven the car, it is super hot and you can actually get a thing called radiator blindness. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, so like boiling hot coolant would jump out of there and you'd be blind for about, it's about 10 minutes or so, but like it's full on tunnel vision, like 98% of the screen is black and you've got like a tiny little circle that you can see. And, I mean, it does wear off, you can either just save without quitting or whatever, but it's about 10 minutes, so if you can just uh, wait that out, you're normally pretty good. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I can do. Um, actually, I just want to quickly... Okay, so that was charging a battery. Hmm, which makes sense, but I didn't really go far. Because normally in real life, like say if you get a dead battery battery and a good you know get a replacement you know the, the, the pe people who did it normally say to you you know go for a drive for about 20 minutes or so to charge her up i don't know how realistic it, realistic it is but it does seem to seems to work a little bit i mean it's in the green so that's good enough let me try turning her over again oh yep 
Just gotta wait for her to warm up. Oop, out of uh, <laughs> driving mode. I'm just listening. I might, I might turn her off. Shotgun for the win. <laughs> oh man. I'm just trying to think of some other stuff that I could do right now. Because uh, it's obviously, what was it, like 4.30 in the afternoon or something. Like I said, we do have some... Oh, that's what I'll do, actually, because I said I'll show you on the map. Um, okay, so there's the airfield. There's the tip. Um, now, GT... Uh, what do you call it? The rev counter. Uh, it's in the same location as the GT grill. Which is a little bit uglier, but... Uh, it's more ventilation than this Satsuma one. So more airflow into the radio, which is also always a good thing. And now I'm just trying to think from here. Because uh, Grandma's here, right? So... Or am I going the wrong way? Wait, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think where I am. So we're here. We're this far house here. This dot here. Doesn't help when I'm still a little bit tipsy. So we come out here. Blah, 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 blah. Wood guy. Okay, there's the mechanics. I'm just trying to think. Is that up here? Dude, I've got a complete blank. Uh, no, because it come off the highway... Oh, I think it's here, actually. Yeah, there's like a quarry bit here. Yeah. It's off here. Not You don't go all the way into the uh, like the tip area. But there's like this quarry area. And the tea bucket wreck is there, about there. And then there's sort of like a, a makeshift uh, racing track where you can go practice on if you want. But it's on the right-hand side. I suppose it's a bit... Like, I'll explain it better, <laughs> obviously, when we actually go and do it. Uh, but so there's two wrecks we can grab and we'll grab those GT parts um, Obviously, I've already got the steering wheel and the rocker cover, but on that note I think I'll leave episode 12 there might be a bit shorter again, but uh, you know, that's what how it is sometimes I am like I'm not sick anymore, but uh, But yeah, only because it's getting a bit late now, and I don't really want to do any poop jobs in the dark Plus actually let me quickly check the how much we've got in here Okay, we've got enough for two more jobs, right? So in the next episode, that's what we're going to do. We'll do this pain in the ass one right there. Then we'll skip this dude right opposite Fleetari and go to this one. Because then I'll have a full tank. And then we'll go to the treatment plant, which is about there. Empty her out, uh, which is going to cost about... It's just under 1400 mark. It's a bit expensive, but, you know... It's better than getting a fine if you dump it anyway. It's about 13,000 uh, fine. So, yeah. I'd rather pay the 1,300 than 13,000 any day. So that's what we'll do in the next episode. We'll we'll do them. And then if we've got some time, we'll grab the grab both the wrecks. We'll grab the GT rev counter and grill. Um, and then we'll swing by Fleetaris and uh, we'll give it a save. And then we'll sell those wrecks to Fleetari. But uh, that'll all be in episode 13. Team, but uh, like per usual, let me know if you're enjoying the playthrough so far. If you're looking forward to my winter car, um, uh, what else was I gonna say? I can't remember, but uh, but yeah, just let me, oh, that's right, let me know where you're watching from, let me know what nationality you are, stuff like that. You know, get a conversation going, why not? You know, it's all about community, community for me, and uh, like minded people, and all that sort of stuff. And also, what I was gonna say before that I forgot is, oh, hang on. <laughs> Let me know if you've got any other games in mind that you want to see me play, because I'm open to that. Grandma again with more fish. No, I'm not doing that anymore. You pay too little. It's not worth my time. But anyway, as I was saying, if you, let me know if you're enjoying the playthrough so far. Um, let me know if there's any other games you want me to play. I'll have a look at, because uh, I am playing Construction Sim and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you've got any games in mind. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Make sure to hit that notification bell for said reasons. And uh, yeah, I'll catch ya in episode Lucky 13. Adios.